Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the top helmets for less than 100 quid. Not everyone wants to spend a fortune on a bike helmet and thankfully there are plenty of decent ones that cost less than £100. We've spent hours reading through customer reviews and using their star ratings to put together this guide to the best lids you can buy for under 100 quid. The five helmets you see here are all different in style. There's a flip front, an adventure lid, an open face jet helmet and two full faces, one with and one without an internal sun visor. So here are the details about each of them. A sports touring helmet, by my definition anyway, is one with an internal sun visor. This LS2 Stream Evo has one of those, as well as some other impressive features, and it still manages to come in under our 100 quid price barrier. It runs a plastic shell, but we weighed this size medium helmet at 1,554 grams, so it's not exactly a bucket of lard. The visor has an easy change setup, and it's also prepared for a proper Max Vision pinlock insert. One of those will cost you £28.99 extra, and that'll take you over the £100 mark though. The sun visor operates on this easy sliding switch by the left ear, and it extends a good way down for plenty of sun protection. The Stream Evo is ACU approved for track riding and racing, and it scores four stars out of five in the UK government's tough, sharp impact tests. So tell that to people who say you're not looking after your head properly if you don't spend loads of money on a helmet. Sharp aren't the only ones who give it a good star rating either. 76% of customer reviewers awarded the Stream Evo the maximum five stars out of five, which is really good going. The riders who've bought one of LS2's 80 quid flip fronts have largely been very impressed, especially praising the value for money. 65% of reviewers gave a maximum of five stars and an average star rating of 4.63 is decent. Get your hands on a strobe and you can see what customers mean about value. The opening mechanism is an easy single press operation and the final step of the lift puts the chin bar in a place where it's unlikely to close again just under its own weight. It's not dual homologated, so you can't wear it legally as an open face with the chin bar flipped up. But if you choose to go rogue, then it'll take quite a shock to get that chin bar to drop over your eyes. The liner is fully removable, has decent grooves to accommodate spec arms, and there's room behind the cheek pads as well for intercom speakers. There's an internal sun visor, but it has to be said it's not the deepest. And a pinlock anti-mist insert for the main visor also costs extra, but that's par for the course at this price, and at least there are pins on that visor so you can fit a pinlock if you splash out the extra £28.99 for that option. The LS2 strobe weighs in on our scales at 1,663 grams, which is actually quite respectable for a flip front. It's approved to ECE 2205 for road use, and it scored three stars in the UK government's Sharp testing program. There aren't many sub £100 adventure helmets around, but there don't need to be loads as the Sparda Intrepid is a very popular option. Of the 53 riders who've left a review for this adventure lid so far, 68% of them have awarded it five stars. It runs plastic shell with a peak, there's a pinlock ready outer visor, and there's a drop down sun visor as well. It has a removable comfort lining, a micrometric strap fastening buckle, and it's also ACU Gold approved. If there are criticisms, it's that the pinlock insert isn't included, that's an extra 26 quid, and that the optical quality on either of the visors isn't perfect, and also that the sun visor doesn't come down very far. The venting isn't all that well regarded either, but the majority of owners say they're very, very happy with their lid, and say it's all they would expect from a budget adventure lid. This size small Intrepid weighs in on our scales at 1,669 grams and it's approved to ECE 2205 for the road as well as having that ACU stamp I mentioned earlier. It's not been tested by the UK government's SHARP scheme which doesn't test adventure helmets as the people behind those tests say it's more important to focus on full face and flip front helmets because it says that's what people buy. Open face helmets aren't for everyone, but lots of riders love them. And this one from MT is the most popular helmet with people who've splashed out for one. Of the 54 customers who've left the review for the Le Mans SV helmet so far, 87% gave it five stars. It's quite a simple lid really. It's a plastic shell that only comes in one shell size. And then the thickness of the impact liner and the interior foam are changed to suit the full range of head sizes. It's got a drop down sun visor, that is only a sun visor and it's not rated to provide eye protection 
and there's a goggle retaining popper at the back in case you want tested eye protection and you want to keep the strap for the goggles retained in place. The lining foam is covered with this brushed velour type material for comfort and the strap fastener is a micrometric buckle just like the other four helmets in this list. There's no sharp star rating for safety as open face helmets like this aren't included in the sharp scheme just like adventure helmets aren't included. As they say, the customer's always right, and that guarantees the HJC CS15 its place on our best value helmets list. So far, we've had 138 customer reviews for this helmet, and 87% of those reviewers gave it five stars out of five. The CS15 is a sporty lid, so there's no internal sun visor. It has a plastic shell, but the weight is good at just 1,485 grams, and the lining is all removable with recesses so you can comfortably fit intercom speakers. If you want a pinlock anti-mist insert, then it's extra. That's not a surprise at this price, but the chin vent is large and it will at least give a good flow of air to the inside of the visor to help it clear if you don't go for that insert. This helmet's ACU approved, so you can use it for track days or races if you need to. And it's also got an impressive four star rating in the tough, sharp testing program that's run for the UK government. There really is very little criticism of this helmet from people who've bought one. Some don't like the sound of the visor opening and closing, which is a bit rudimentary, but the actual operation is pretty good. This mechanism allows the visor to be fully open, half open, a little bit open to get some air through and clear the visor or fully shut. And there's even a lock on the side to hold it securely shut at speed. It's also easy enough to get the visor on and off. And overall, it's very hard to argue with the value for money from this lid, as the vast majority of owners seem to appreciate. There's a really famous old motorcycling saying that goes something like, if you've got a $10 head, buy a $10 helmet. What a load of patronizing old drivel. More expensive helmets than the ones in this list are very likely to be nicer to wear. The ventilation will be better, the linings will be a bit plusher, the visor action will be smoother, and you'll probably be able to get a pinlock insert included to stop the visor misting up. And those are just some of the benefits of spending more money on a helmet. But to say that spending less money means you don't value your head properly is really not fair. These helmets all meet the same safety standard as expensive helmets, and the three that have been tested by Sharp score three or four stars, which is respectable in what is actually quite a tough test. So if 100 quid is what you can afford, or it's what you want to spend, then I hope our list of top lids for that budget helps you find the right one for you. Thanks for watching.